How do you blur something in one of your own YouTube videos after that video has been published to YouTube? I'm going to show you exactly how to do this because I need to do this right now. Let's have a look at my YouTube studio and I'll show you the problem. If you go to the video that you want to blur, so that's this video here for me, on the left hand side there are some tabs and we want to go down to editor and that brings up the video editor and you can see we've got these options here. We've got trim, blur, audio and end screen and info cards. Obviously the section that we want is blur. So if I click on the plus sign here, add blur, it gives you two options, face blur and a custom blur. I'll show you the problem I've got. On this shot here, the camera moves to the desk and you can see all my papers on the right hand side. On that paper is some sensitive details. It's some sensitive content that I don't really want to be out here on a public video on YouTube. What I'm going to do is add a custom blur to those papers. At full screen you can see all the lettering on that letter there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go roughly to the place in the video where I want the blur to happen and next I'm going to use the comma button to back up one frame. If I wanted to move forward one frame you can use the full stop button or the period button to move forward frame by frame and to go back I'm going to hit the comma button and I'll just do that as many times so that I can find exactly the very frame I want the blur to start. I think I'll start the blur just as soon as the letter becomes legible, which I think is about there. Next, I'll go up to the blur section and click add blur and then I will choose custom blur and it gives me some options here. There's the blur shape, which is a rectangle or an oval. And you can see when you select either of those options on the right hand window, let's move it over so you can see it more clearly. I'm going to hover the cursor over the blur and then I'm going to click and drag it. Let's take it to a section where you can see it there. I think I'll go for an oval. I think it's slightly friendlier. And you can click on the edges to shrink or expand these axes here. So I'm going to place the oval over the letter. And then the second option you have is either track object or fix the blur position. I'm going to click the cursor back onto the window and then use the full stop and comma button to move forward. Oh look, it tracks it in real time. So I'm going backwards and YouTube is automatically keeping that oval over the letter. Isn't that clever? And you can set the in point for this. Oh, that's amazing, isn't it? And you can set the in point on the blue bar here. So you can see above the time of the video, your video is shown as a, as a timeline. I want the blur to start here, which is where this line is here. So I'm going to grab this blue section. That's the start of the blur. And I'm going to click on it and hold down my mouse button and drag up to that frame there, up to where the cursor point is there, that line. So if I click outside of the blue area here and press play, you'll see the blur will start when that timeline hits the blue section. And you can adjust when the blur comes in by dragging that blue section there. So I'll just wait for it to get a bit closer here. And let's drag it out a bit more. There we go. And then I'll move the timeline along one frame at a time, hitting the period button or the full stop button. And that is exactly what I wanted to be hidden. So that's great. And I'll just keep inching forward by pressing the full stop key. Now it stops there because the picture jumps. So if I go forward one frame, I want the blur to end there, which is where the long thin line is on the timeline here. You can make this more accurate by going up to this zoom section here, you can either zoom in or zoom out. Now I'm zoomed out all the way. This is a zoom in of the timeline of the video, not of the video. So if I click zoom in, you can see this timeline expands and I can scroll across to move along the timeline here with the scroll bar at the bottom. So I want to grab the end of the blue section here. If you hover the cursor over the end of the blue bar, you see it changes to two arrows. And then I'm going to click and hold on my mouse key and drag this blue bar all the way back to where the cursor is. And that is where my blur will end there, it snaps to that frame. Actually, I think I want to take it back another frame. So I hit the comma button. I want it to end there. So if I zoom in some more, 
and then go back to the blue bar and drag this blue bar back to here. Now, unhelpfully, it's, it either goes before or after, and you can see in the window whether the blur is on. So I'm gonna drag it to the right one frame, and you can see that the blur has appeared. So I know that frame is covered, and now I hit the full stop button to go forward one frame, and the blur disappears. That's exactly where I want the blur to end. There, that's perfect. Click before the blue blur section, and we'll play it through and we'll see how it looks. What I did, I pressed F on my keyboard to make the whole thing full frame. And I'll press the space bar to play the video. The uh, standing desk, it's adjustable. Look, you can get the handle out and raise it. I think I've raised it. That's exactly where I want the blur to happen. What I need to do now is to save this blur. So I'll go up to the right hand side and hit save here. Now it gives you a warning and the warning says this, it might take a few hours for your changes to apply. So that if you have something really sensitive that you need to be blurred right now, it's probably best to hit save, but go and unlist the video, make the video private so no one can see it. And then when you know that the blur has gone through and has been processed and is definitely on the video, then you can make the video live again. So I'm gonna hit save and you get the, this message at the bottom, video is being processed, please check back later. Uh, leave a comment and say hi if this has helped you. And I have other YouTube tips and tricks for my YouTube studio. That's in that playlist down here. And up here is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.